Minor explosions are the, on the sun could power the U.S. power grid for 180,000 years. Humans have always been fascinated by the sun, I think because it is so constant compared to um, compared to our daily life. We don't see from Earth the seasons that it has. It has seasons. It goes through an 11-year cycle um, that changes its magnetic field, but we don't see that necessarily on Earth. So I think for humans, it's always been that, that bit of warmth, um, that steady companion that we've had throughout humanity. We do see the sun every day in the sky, but we don't know everything about it. There are still a lot of mysteries there in, in only our closest star. And those mysteries tend to be, A, why the outer atmosphere of the sun is so hot. Um, B is it constantly throws off this wind, so it's constantly losing mass or losing weight, but it doesn't necessarily lose weight. It's on the worst diet ever, that it just, ha it just keeps trying to shed the weight, but it doesn't seem to come off. The solar wind is this constant stream of particles off of the sun, and it, um, it creates the atmosphere and bathes all of the planets as it goes out um, throughout the heliosphere, which is the sphere of influence of the sun. So coronal mass ejections are a lot of material just coming off the sun at once. And the, the amount of material that's coming out of these, expo these violent explosions um, are equivalent to 80 million school buses um, coming at a million miles an hour off the sun towards the earth and towards all the rest of the planet. So this is a very violent thing that throws off lots of energy and lots of, lots of matter um, outwards um, that can really affect things in space. Each of us are about stardust, and um, the calcium in your bones came from other stars. Um, the oxygen that we breathe came from other stars. Um, so all of these things came from other stars, um, including the material to make up the, of the sun. So we are very intimately connected. I think that we are on the Earth on kind of this special sweet zone. Uh, they call it the Goldilocks zone when looking for extra exoplanets, planets outside of our solar system. It's that it's not too hot that you're not too close and you're not too cold that you're too far away. You're in that Goldilocks zone. The sun itself is the producer of light and heat for the planet. And in that light and heat, it also then allows us to have um, breathable air, um, liquid water, and uh, help us grow food. So all of those things are very important. Um, and stars in general help us tell what the path was in the universe to get to where we are and kind of where we're going, um, the evolution. Um, and in addition, they're inspirational. They are things that help us kind of take the step back and be curious and to get a little philosophical sometimes late at night looking at the stars.